Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Father. Well, let's lift our hands to the Most High God and bless His holy name. Let us bless the King of Kings, the Lord of Lords, the Ancient of Days, the Unchangeable Changer. Let's give Him glory. Let's give Him honor. Praise Him. There's none like him. Go see any to that be red. His name is wonderful. Oru Koreni Yanu. Counselor. Olu Damaro. Mighty God. Olonu Alagbara. Everlasting Father. Baba Yeraye. The Prince of Peace. Omo Aladia Lafia. Praise him. Hey, yeah. Give him glory. Give him honor. You go at your He's here again tonight to bless you. He's, he's here again tonight to bless you. Praise Bless his holy name, give him glory. And you look for it, and you worship him. And just a fool, he said again tonight to bless you. No one seen Lale Lati Wabu Kufu. Thank him for what he had done in the past. Thank him for what he will yet do. It's going to be a very, very glorious night, so praise him in advance. Thank you, Father. Baba In Jesus' mighty name, we worship. We give you all the glory. We give you honor. We give you all the glory. We give you honor. Jesus, we give you all the glory. We give you all. We give you all the glory. We give you all. Savior, we give you. Almighty God, we give you all the glory. Allah will do my Afibobo go for all. We give you all the honor. Afibobo Allah for all. We give you all the adoration. Afibobo is just in for all. 
Ancient of days, we worship you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. For all you've done for us all this year. Thank you for the salvation of our souls. Thank you for keeping us in your love. Thank you for our health and strength. Thank you for joy in the Holy Ghost. Thank you for yesterday. Thank you for today. Thank you in advance for tomorrow. Thank you because we know our future will be all right. Father, accept our worship in Jesus. Name. Tonight, Lord God Almighty, in the lives of every one of your children, Father, do something new. Do something special. All those who are serving you in spirit and in truth, before this time next year, give them at least 81 breakthroughs. Amen. Thank you, my Father and my God. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen. Amen. Well, so I think we will just go straight to to work. Into right now, I must say the light didn't work. No, you know I told you about a good friend of mine who is always answering questions in uh, funny ways. Most of you know about Remy. Can't you just be a lawa dani? You come and down with Barry. Boba she wuli. His questions will be right, but uh, it's not the kind of answer that you will give him a uh, mark for. I want to be a man, his answers rather. So, boy, he down there, he said, Tia, if you tell if you're gone. He's the one who told us last year that uh, the chairman is somebody who is sitting in a chair. So once again, will you say welcome to the chairman next to you? Nitorina banki alaga tin bele gbe yin pe o ka bo. Which is why I'm sitting down too because this is a congregation of chairmen. Nitorina le mi na fi joko. Nitori ipa go awon alaga la wa yi. Is a, is a fellow that uh, the teacher came to the class, the Sunday school teacher came to the class. Pointed to him and said, Who killed Goliath? He said, No, be me. Only case be me. I'm not the one who killed Goliath. Tonight, the Almighty God wants me to tell someone straight away. Your laughter is beginning now. Ah. All right, if you are that one, let me hear you shout hallelujah. Next month, we'll be having a special legal service for children. You know, we always have it in April, we bring our children. We anoint them so that sickness and disease will stay away from them. And kidnappers won't even look in their direction. Please make sure you come on time. You know, since we started, 
devil had always tried very hard to make sure we tried very hard to make sure we won't be able to bring the children by creating very severe traffic jams on that particular day so bring the children as soon as they finish from school bring them in they have enough space to play after they have arrived and the theme for that special children uh, Holy Ghost service is the divine touch. Bible said they brought children to him that he might touch them. May he just didn't touch them, he carried them. And I know there are children here that the Almighty God can still carry. Including myself. Because, because he is the ancient of days. So there's nobody here who is who can be called anything other than an infant compared to him. So let us make sure that we have we, we come and we bring all our children. Please. Today, tonight we're talking about the God of breakthroughs. Our text is Second Kings chapter two. From verse nine to fifteen. Second King chapter two nine to fifteen. Thank you, Father. Bye bye, show. A lot. Of, so somebody said, uh, "I wish I have children so I can bring them next month." Any cons? All of us have means to pay any cons. So we pay. Ah, but it don't okay. Me now, Lord man. Ask me to tell you before the end of this month, your children will already be moving in your womb. Amen. And it came to pass when they were gone over that Elijah said unto Elisha, Ask what I shall do for thee before I be taken away from thee. And Elisha said, I pray thee, let a double portion of thy spirit be upon me. Let not thy spirit it shall be so unto thee, but if not, it shall not be so. Oh, see, we pay your pay on to show. Shuban, be what body mini batty are back by me, cool lord or a yori bear for more. Shuban be back or yori bear. And it came to pass as they still went on and talked that behold, there appeared a chariot of fire and horses of fire and parted them both asunder. And Elijah went up by a wild wind into heaven. Oh, see, she be wanting law. And Elisha saw it and he cried, My father, my father, the chariot of Israel and the horsemen thereof. And he saw him no more, and he took hold of his own clothes and rent them in two pieces. Elisha said, and he took up also the mantle of Elijah that fell from him 
and went back and stood by the bank of Jordan. And he took the mantle of Elijah that fell from him and smote the waters and said, Where is the Lord God of Elijah? And when he also had smitten the water, they parted hither and thither, and oh. Elisha went over. Oh, si mo agbada Elijah ti o bolo wore. Oh, si lo mi na. Oh, si wipe ni boni olu olorun Elijah wa. Nigba ti o nigba ti o npe lu si lo mi na. Won si pe ya si hin ati sohun Elisha si rekoja. And when the sons of the prophets which were to view at Jericho saw him, they said, The spirit of Elijah doth rest on Elisha. And they came to meet him and bowed themselves to the ground before him. And Because you came tonight, all your colleagues very soon will be bowing down to you. Like that. I, I want to thank God for my son who spoke before me this evening. Your anointing will never run dry. Amen. If I'm your and I want to really, really thank God for the choir. They just keep on getting better and better. God bless you. Our God is a God of breakthroughs. And from the text we read, it is possible to have breakthroughs in many areas of life. And to have all of them even in a single day. Elisha had many breakthroughs in one day. Elisha ni He had physical breakthrough. Jordan opened for him. He had material breakthrough. You discover that Elisha never had to ask a widow for food. As a matter of fact, he decreed abundance to a widow that was destitute. In 2 King chapter 4 from verse 1 to 7 a rich woman had to constrain him practically force him even to come and eat and because of the breakthroughs that you are going to have today in the name that's above every other name you will never beg again amen oh ni He also not only had physical breakthrough, material breakthrough. He had spiritual breakthrough. He became promoted above all his colleagues. He woke up in the morning as one of the sons of the prophets. 
Before the day was out, he had become the father of all the sons of the prophets. If only you can believe it. Because of the breakthrough you are about to have tonight. You will soon be at the top of your own career. Because of the spiritual breakthrough that he had that, that day, he became someone who can decree an end to a curse. I mean, in 2 Kings chapter 2, from verse 19 to 22, Second Kings chapter 2 19 to 22 He decree an end to the curse in Jericho And tonight I'm decreeing concerning all the villages and towns represented here. Let me tell Every curse upon your towns, cities, and villages are cancelled tonight. Amen. <laughs> He decreed healing for Nema in 2 Kings chapter 5 from verse 1 to 14. 2 Kings 5, 1 to 14. You know, you know the story of Naaman very well. Naaman had an incurable disease. That the man of God just decreed that he should go and take a bath. He did what he was told. He was completely whole. So may I decree straight away that all of you are told that your sickness cannot be cured. By Monday, go and check with your doctor. He will think he's looking at a new person. He raised the dead when he was alive because of the spiritual breakthrough that he had. And raised the dead even after he himself was dead. While he was alive, he was performing mighty miracles. Even after he died, his dead bones still continued the job. I'm standing on the authority of the word of God. To say that every good thing that had died in your life we will go. come back to life tonight. Amen. He became the protector of his nation. In 2 Kings chapter 6, 
from verse 8 to 12. Yes, they get your day, Kijila. Second King chapter 6, from verse 8 to 12. Oh, back in G. Ori Kefa, yes, they get your day, Kijila. He delivered his king from falling into the trap of the enemy. Oh, bow by Lure. Lower, I want a taputate or tati de lef when that king sent an army to arrest him, he arrested those who were coming to arrest him. And when there was famine in the land, in Second King chapter 7, from verse 1 to 16. Second Kings chapter 7, 1 to 16. He decreed abundance within 24 hours. Since this is a special time in my own life, because I'm, I'm sure many of you know the history of the Holy Ghost service. That it all started in 1986. When my birthday was near. And the Almighty God asked me, son, what do you want for your birthday? And I told him, I want every member of my congregation to have a miracle. And he said, call them together. And I did, which is, I mean, it's a story, you know. This is the anniversary of that special breakthrough in my life. So so if you hear me making decrees. I appeal to you that you take them very seriously. And one of the decrees I want to make straight away is that oh Nigeria, it shall be well with you. Amen. Oh Nigeria, you that are for. And I want to say to somebody here tonight, all those who want to arrest you, all those who want to slow you down, all those who want to put you into bondage, they shall be arrested. Mm. And those of you who are in a famine, whether physical, financial, spiritual, or otherwise, in the, in less than 24 hours, your famines will be over. In your you do because he had spiritual breakthrough. He decreed end to mockers. Oh, what a share of In second king chapter two. From verse 23 to 24. Second Kings 2, 23 to 24. 
He was minding his own business. And then some children began to mock him. He spoke a word and, and then came to them. In 2 Kings chapter 7, from verse 17 to 20, 2 Kings 7, 17 to 20, when he prophesied, and someone very high up in government laughed at him. What are you talking about? If, if God were to make windows in heaven, can this thing be? They told him, she will say, Ferris, they so John, say, Lay gun, she shall be. He silenced him. Oh, by Lenoma. He told him, you will see the miracle happen, only you won't partake of it. That's why tonight I'm issuing a decree. All those who are mocking you, you won't see them again. Amen. Oh, you And I think you better say amen to that. Amen. Because of the spiritual breakthrough that he had, mm. <laughs> sorry, oh. <laughs> sorry. Oh. It seems as I've created some problems with my decree. Because the Lord says there's someone here. Those who are actually resisting your progress are members of your family. I want to do it. 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 So may I advise you then? If you find some relatives relatives dying prematurely. So ba wa gri ti awon omo lebi re kan kan de de fo sanle ti won ku it's because the decree has already gone out o na ni wi pe ase ti jade o Those resisting your progress. Within or without. You won't see them again. Amen. <laughs> All right. I think you, you better pray for me tonight. Yeah. Because of the spiritual breakthrough that uh, he had, he joined a special club of giants. Moses. Moses. The Red Sea opened for him. Joshua. Joshua. If you read Joshua chapter 3 from verse 7 to 17. Joshua 3, 7 to 17. Joshua 3, 7 to 17. Joshua 3, 7 to 17. Jordan opened. For Joshua. Jordani, Opia, Nitori Joshua. If 
fact, it's something very interesting there in verse 7. That God told Joshua. Joshua, Joshua. He said, from today, I will begin to magnify you. May that be your portion also. The rest he opened for Moses. Jordan opened for Joshua. Jordan for Joshua. And then in Second Kings chapter two verse eight, Jordan opened for Elijah. Jordan for Elijah. And suddenly, Jordan opened also for Elisha. So Elisha joined the club of spiritual giants. Permit me to decree that one day, when they are talking of world spiritual giants, your name will be included. Now, you too can have breakthroughs. You can have breakthrough physical. You can have breakthroughs material. You can have breakthrough spiritual. All in one day. I mean, for example, for example, in Mark chapter 10, from verse 46 to 52, Mark chapter 10, from verse 46 to 52, in the story of Bartimaeus, that I'm sure you know very well. In one day, his blindness was over. That was a physical breakthrough. The same day, his garment of suffering was thrown away by himself. He never begged again. That was material breakthrough. And at the end of the story, the Bible said he followed Jesus in the way. He became a disciple of Jesus. He became someone whose story is still affecting the world more than 2,000 years after he died. Uh, the people in Jericho had three major breakthroughs in one day. So I want to decree to somebody that before you leave here tonight, you have at least three breakthroughs. Amen. Amen. Now, God is a sovereign. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Father. Amen. <laughs> I want to say amen to this one before I turn um, it on. The Lord says there's someone here. He said, I will send three very serious destiny helpers to you. Amen. Oh. Oh, 
Meta to she go is He used the word very serious. Oh Lord, to get me, I want to she go And I want to say Amen, Lord. Amen. Amen. Now God is sovereign. You know, we are talking of the God of breakthroughs. Psalm 115, verse 3. Oh, Ori Daffidi, Ori Kanu, Dini or Gofa, Eseketa. Psalm 115, verse 3. Ori Daffidi, Ori Kanu, Dini or Gofa, Eseketa. Says our God is in the heavens. The Olorun wa nbe ni orun and he has done as he pleases o si se oko on to wu is the original majesty o gangan ni kabiesi orun ataye i mean for example in roman chapter 9 ni tori ni apere ninu we ro mo ri kesan verses 15 and 16 ese ke dogun ati kerin din logun romans 9:15 and 16 ro mu ori kesan ese ke dogun ati kerin din logun he said that be merciful unto whom I be merciful. Oni mi o sha nu fun eniti mi o sha nu fun. I will have compassion on whom I will have compassion. E mi o si she yo nu fun eniti mi o she yo nu fun. So I just decide who I'm going to be merciful to. E mi ma kon ku nu eniti ba wu mi lati sha nu fun ni. So you can you can choose who to give a breakthrough to. Only if we know any two who let you fun on I mean, for example, fun akere in John chapter five. Ni we Johanu ori kanu from verse two to nine. I say keji dey kesa. John five two to nine. We Johanu ori kanu. I say keji dey kesa. No, was a a multitude of people. Okpolo kwe ni yani wawa expecting healing. The one ready in Mularada. Jesus walked in there. This war ain't bello. Healed only one. Oh, see where the constitution son. He just went his own way. Oh, see Kurumbe. I pray for somebody here tonight. Oh, but do I have any kind of lalei? If God is going to be merciful to somebody, may you be that one. To ba jeni constitution lolo run pinu lati sha nu fun iwo ni wa jeni na. But, but, but if if you study the Bible very well, to ba wa she if you just look at where God Bibeli, you discover that uh, breakthrough can be obtained by force. We e yonle ba liyono tikpa tikpa o. You know Matthew chapter eleven verse twelve. You we Matthew ori kokon la esek. Matthew 11 verse 12. Matthew ori kokon la esek jila. So since the days of John the Baptist, we lati ogba ojo Johano ni Baptisti. The kingdom of God suffered violence. I joba anu di afagbara wo. The violent have taken it by force. Anu alagbara si fi bagba. Maybe if 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 you are the loudest. Boya to ba je pe iwo ni igbe re lo sokeju maybe if you are the one who will say to je pe iwo lo wa so wi pe Maybe if you say, I will have my breakthrough tonight. You can receive it in Jesus' name. One can receive, I mean... Um, my, those of you who are not here yesterday, you didn't know what to miss. My children, oh, they did marvelous works. And one more, me, one more, me, who? And one of them said, "A can no one stop with me." That if you want a breakthrough, you can get it by violent faith. Wait to bath Nilo and Luyo. Only read back by read back, but to go now. And it's correct. Oh, that's the loser. Because in Mark chapter 2, from verse 1 to 12, 
Mark 2 from verse 1 to 12. Thank you, Father. I want to say amen to this one also. Daddy says, Daddy means what we pray. Those who ever plan to destroy your heritage. Daddy says they will die before you. Daddy means what we pray. You know, in, in, in Mark chapter 2, we mark from verse 1 to 12, they brought one young man to Jesus Christ for healing. And there was no, no way he could get into Jesus Christ. They carried him to the roof. Force upon the ceiling. And brought the man to the feet of Jesus Christ. That was violent faith. They carried him in, he walked out. No, one of the things I will ask when I see that man in heaven is who repaired the ceiling? <laughs> because he didn't wait as soon as he got well, he just went away. Everything that wants to stand in your way tonight. Just one shout of amen will get rid of it. Amen. And then one of my children who spoke yesterday said that you could get breakthrough through violent prayer. Violent, persistent prayer. In in Matthew 15, from verse 21 to 28. Matthew, Orike, Dogun, Ese, Kinide, Keji, Dini, Ogmo. Matthew 15, 21 to 28. Matthew, Orike, Dogun, Ese, Kinide, Keji, Dini, Ogmo. A woman said, My daughter is grievously vexed of the devil. Lord, help me. Bible said, no, Jesus didn't answer. Jesus, Dalum. And those who should have helped the woman told the Lord, send this woman away, she's too loud. I want to hear Koran, Lower, want to stop from Jesus, but they could my Lord, they're a little crooby. She kept on crying. Oh, Pari, Jesus Christ said, uh, I'm not saying better today, lost sheep of the house of Israel. Wait, Jesus, I want a good time, let's really just on the land of Missy. Can I can give a breakthrough to somebody who is not a member of the Redeemed Christian Church of God? Uh, the woman said, uh, <laughs> I know I'm not of the household of Israel. I'm not, I'm not going anywhere. I must, I must get my breakthrough today. Jesus Christ, I can give the bread of children to dogs. Yes, <laughs> you 
I am not arguing with you. Call me any other name other than dog. I say I must have my breakthrough. The Lord turned and said, Ah, great is your faith. He said, You can have what you want. When the time comes to pray tonight, I beg you. You, you. you went through a lot to get here. This is a night like no other. You must not get out of here without your breakthroughs. I told you the story of uh, one night, I mean one Days, years ago. Most of We've just finished a convention. In those days, we have two sets of conventions. So the convention takes two weeks. At the end of the second week, I was tired. So I finished, I came home. I told my wife and children, Come, let's pray the, we pray the short prayer. Don't let anybody disturb me. I want to go and sleep. I was so tired. I hit the bed without taking my socks off. Few minutes, just as I was going far into sleep land, my wife came and knocked at the door. Darling, you have to wake up. I told, I told you I don't want to be disturbed. She said, I know you are tired. And there's a woman at the door. So go be come bele no lekun. Came all the way from the north. E ati le ariwa lo ti duwa. When she came, go ode. She asked the children. O abi o be re lowo awon mo. Is daddy in? Se pe baba yin be nle. They say yes. Won ni be ni. I want to see him. Mo fe ri. It's not see anybody again. Go ni ko re ni kankan mo lo ni o. But he saying. So go wa nle sir. Good. Oni e ma yara yin lenu. It's not coming today. It's not coming out today. She said, who talk about today? He said, I will sit at this door. And whatever time he wants to come out. And the number of days. He will meet me here. So my wife said, <laughs> you better add this tiredness to your tiredness. Because she was sitting at the door, they gave her food and she was eating. So I came out. Woman, what is your problem? She said, All I want is I want you to touch my head. This head that is always refusing good things. Touch it. She got a miracle. Is there somebody here tonight? Who says, Lord, I'm not going anywhere. I must have my breakthrough tonight. If you are the one, let me hear you shout hallelujah. Now, there is this issue of assisted breakthrough. Um, see Matthew chapter 18 verse 19. Matthew Thank you, Father. Matthew chapter 18 verse 19. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. 
He said, right now you are walking on troubled waters. Daddy asked me to tell you. But daddy needs to I will hold your hand. You will not sink. Oh, In Matthew 18, verse 19, the Bible says, If two of you shall agree, as such anything you ask on earth, it will be done for you by my Father in heaven. I'm going to ask you to do something. My wife, you know, in the night, whenever God wants to do something extraordinary, I always appeal to you at the beginning that you please be ready to be childish for just a while. I want you to join hand with the fellow next to you. And with all your heart, I want you to pray. Father, Baba, this fellow I'm holding before the sun rises tomorrow. Give him a breakthrough. Go ahead, pray for Joseph. A minute. This fellow I'm holding, my father, my God, before the sun rises tomorrow. Give him a major breakthrough. Please give him a major breakthrough. Give him a major breakthrough before the sun rises tomorrow. Thank you, Father. Amen. Amen. So shall it be in Jesus' name. Now, you, you know the story of uh, Naaman very well. He nearly lost his breakthrough. But for God, who allowed him to be assisted. The housemaid helped him. He got to the man of God. He sent a servant to tell him what to do. He got angry. But his servant assisted him again. Yesterday, one of my sons who was preaching spoke about David who brought breakthrough to a nation. May I decree to somebody right now? Somebody who assists you in getting your breakthrough will come to you. Amen. And it's your own lower Latin your worry. And then there is the issue of the God of your father. When uh, Elisha was going to get uh, his breakthrough, the cry he cried was, My father, my father. And when he was going to pray, he said, where is the Lord God of Elijah? Elijah 
your father in the Lord has a role to play in your breakthrough. Baba re ni no luwa o ni palati she ni pati alu yo aye re. I want you to pay very close attention to where we are. Do wo teti leko ti on ti anso ni sunsun yi. Don't worry, I will soon finish preaching and allow you to pray. Emma, say your name. You need to pray. Pray. We are so many. Let us fully lay. Let us bear the Amen. There are some of us who take the issue of your spiritual father lightly. I won't come burning on what to do. Pray. Or rob a bar. Any no luwa ye ao. Timo no kukodo. There are some of us who have several fathers. It's only a demon who has more than one father. Every human being, you have only one father. If you have a wrong father, change that tonight. At least one thing is clear. You can never get more than double the anointing of your father. So if your father has no anointing, if it's a pretender, to ba je ni tin di boni or the oil has dried up on. Ta bi ororo na ti gbe danu. You have a problem. Isoro la lo ni yen o. So for all those who call me who genuinely are my children. Fun eyin na to je ni toto toto omo mi le nse I decree tonight. Mo wa pa lase la leyi. The way will open for you. Oh no Allah fo yin. I have to stand for this one. Yeah. Please let me pull the chair back. Thank you. Hmm. I I see something. Maureen, come on. I see the sun going backward. Maureen, don't bother saying. So I ask, Daddy, what, what does this one mean? Mwabiri la wao baba miungu kini tu melei. And he says, for some of you, listening to me tonight, including myself, Daddy says he's rolling back your age by five years. That is so we pay on your Odomaru, Rodin or Doria. Your age will still be the same. You don't, you are more don't you want to be on any was in my jet? But your body will be five years younger. 
Sumon, Agora, Yoba, Ilera, Toti, 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 Number one, a coco. You will become stronger. What you can see, what you see. Your eyes will become sharper. Oh, you to learn see. Your memory will become more accurate. Oh, Yo ma si se ju ti atenyin wa lo Oh my daddy He asked me to tell you Oni kin so fun o for one of the people To ba je kan lara won ni o He said the number of gray hair on your head will reduce E ron fun fun ti n be lori re yo de ku Ah, I think you should lift your hand to God and, and thank Him for that. No way, so we go do kelo wolu. Father, we receive. I receive that. Mukbaile ibo luwa. I receive that, Lord. Mukbaile ibo luwa. I receive that, Lord. Thank you, Almighty God. In the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name. Mm, let somebody shout hallelujah. hallelujah. Okay, you can please be seated. Oh Lord. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Amen. <laughs> I can hear somebody singing. And the song is I am going higher, yes I am. I am going higher each day. Hallelujah. I am going higher. Yes I am. Go. Jesus to stay. I'm going above the shadows into the presence of God. Into the presence of Jesus. I'm going higher each day. Ah. If you are that one, let me hear you shout hallelujah. hallelujah. Oh, Lord. The Lord asked me to tell somebody. Olu wani kin sofu eni kon. He said the embargo is lifted. Amen. Oh Lord, thank you, Father. Amen. The Lord said the fellow concerned we understand. He asked me to tell you, I, I will put the lions to sleep. Amen. Okay, now, let me begin to round up. Uh, one of my children spoke yesterday. You can learn one more, Mister Rolando, and told us about how a breakthrough is like a digging a well. Okay, and you don't have anything back on that. 
You know there is water under the ground. You are digging and digging until you get to the water. When you get to water, you have uh, broken through to water. Um, so, from yesterday now, we had a new way of greeting ourselves. We shake hands and say, keep digging, keep digging. Uh, because he, he spoke that we dug, we got to water, and we stopped. That we should dig deeper and get to gold. We dig deeper, we we'll get to diamond. <laughs> and I said I will keep digging till I get to oil. I said I will keep digging till I get to oil. How about shaking hands with one or two people and say, keep digging, keep digging. 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 It is from that angle now that I've come to the last phase of my talk. I want to talk to dig you need a sharp instrument lati ri pe agbele anilo ohun oko tabi ti enu re mu and there's no instrument sharper than the word of god ko de wa si ohun elo kan kan to muju oro olorun lo hebrew chapter 4 verse 12 iwe heberu ori kerin ese ikejila Hebrews 4 12. Tells us that the word of God is quick and powerful. And sharper than any two edged sword. And then one of my children, like I told you, said that you need faith. For oh. you to get a breakthrough. Now Romans 10 to 17. Romans 10 17. Says us that faith comes by hearing. Romans 10, 17, I said. Romu, orikewa, ese keta dilogun. Faith comes by hearing. Bo, ama awa, nipa, bo. And hearing by the word of God. Ati, bo, nipa, ti, oro, lo, no. You need the word of God to dig. O, ni, lo, oro, lo, no. La, ti, bele. It is the word of God that will produce the faith. O, oro, lo, no, yi, no, ni, o, mu, yi, bag, bo, jade. The sick knows that there is healing available. I need to share it no more. We pray it was not bad. All he or she needs is the word of God to get that healing. Oh, to see me, Lord, on your road, Lord, on your muki, it was not a hotel. Oh, he sent his word. Oh, no, 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 and healed them. Oh, no, 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 no. The poor knows that there is something called prosperity. Either he had been rich before but and is now poor. Or at least can see rich people around. To break through to prosperity requires the word of God. In 2 Kings chapter 4 from verse 1 to 7. 2 Kings 4 from verse 1 to 7. 
It is the word of Elisha. Or Elisha. That turned the tide for the destitute. Oh, no, Muki, but you better. So that the creditors became disgraced. It takes the word of God to make the fruitless fruitful. Many of the testimonies we have heard. We we came to the Holy Ghost service. Daddy said, Daddy, we pay. That is, Daddy said, we pay. And then we see the results. The barren needs just the word. In 1 Samuel chapter 1, from verse 1 to 20, Samuel, Kini, Uri, Kini, Esek, Thank you, Father. Thank you, Jesus. Again, this is me. <clears throat> hey, so you. I say amen to this one. Hey, amen. <laughs> the Almighty God said, there's someone here tonight. Lord, Mary, so he, come, he, la, la, he. he said, very soon. They like, eh? Whenever they want to describe you or your children. See, one by faith, Jack, we do we read, I be a one more, eh? The word that will be frequently used is the word excellent. In First Samuel chapter 1, from verse 1 to 20. In Samuel, just one word. It's what Anna had. Togbo. Togbo. That changed her look. She stopped weeping. She was not sad anymore. And she came back. Bo she Breakthroughs come. By the word of God. And it's either God Himself will speak directly to you. Like He spoke to Abraham and Sarah in Genesis 18. Or He could speak through an angel. Like he did in Judges 13. Or Luke chapter 1. In Judges 13, spoke to Manuas wife. And and Samson was the result. In Luke chapter 1, he, he, he spoke to Zechariah. Uh, and John the Baptist was the result. But God could speak through his prophet. His prophet spoke. And the miracle happens. And if, 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 if we check again and again when some breakthroughs came for people or nations, particularly in Jericho, the Bible said the waters of Jericho were healed according to the word that Elisha spoke. Thank you, Father. Amen. The Lord said there is someone here tonight. And I say amen to that. Too. He said very soon. 
a crowd, a huge crowd will surround you. And they will all be saying one word. And that word will be Congratulations. Amen. 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 Now, if you check through the scriptures, you will find that the pastor in charge of a congregation is always called the angel of the church. Revelation chapter 2. Revelation chapter 3. So tonight, I'm standing in the position of your spiritual father. I'm standing as an angel of the Lord. And even though I'm not a prophet, but I hear from him from time to time. And before we finish tonight, I'm going to combine all these offices. And decree your breakthrough. And that time is not too far from here. But you have to do one or two things before then. Number one, we'll have to do with some of you who probably came late. So you were not here when the first altar call was made. But you can call me daddy in the real sense of the word unless you are born again. Oh, le kwe mini daddy re nito toto to. You can't be my spiritual son if you are living in sin. It's not possible. You must be a true child of God before you can look at me and say, hey, that's my daddy. It is only if both of us are inside the kingdom of the Lord Jesus Christ that the relationship of daddy son daddy daughter can apply don't let anybody deceive you we can't break the word of God Breakthrough comes through the word of God. And it is clearly written. Say ye to the righteous. It shall be well with him. Isaiah chapter 3 verse 10. Woe to the wicked. For he shall be ill with him. Isaiah chapter 3, verse 11. You want it to be well with you? And you have not said surrender your life to Jesus? You are joking. But you can make up your mind tonight. If you have not surrendered your life to Jesus, 
You run forward now. Run to the altar. Whether here or in the old auditorium or any of the other uh, overflows or wherever you may be. If you are not anywhere in a church setting, if you are at home, you just stand up to let Jesus know you are standing up. If you are in a car, you park the car and let him know you mean business. So if you want to give your life to Jesus, I'm going to count from one to ten. Mark on by the time I say ten, if you are not already standing before the altar, it's either you are already saved or you don't want to come. And so I'm counting now. One, it is time to pray. And like I said earlier on, I beg you, make sure you pray intensely tonight. No, bro. Bad rock. Kick on, kick on. Like Sharia, la lei. The day called the third of March, 2023. Ojo ti ojo keta usu keta ojo 2023. We never come back again. So this, this moment in history is a once and for all moment. Now when we talk about breakthrough physically, some of us will say, I bet I'm not sick. Real breakthrough physically means number one, you are whole. It also means no more sickness until it is time to go home. When Elisha had that breakthrough, physical breakthrough, he was sick only once. When he was about to go, and the sickness didn't last long. So I don't know about you, but. I need physical breakthrough. I don't want ever to be sick again. No, no ache, no pain, no matter how small. So your prayer number one is to praise God that ah, you are here. Ah, Number two, AKG. Almighty God, this night, ah, give me physical breakthrough. Never to be sick again. Number two, AKG. When we talk of uh, spirit, uh, material breakthrough, not only do I want all my needs met, abundantly, Lord, it is written, I will learn to nations. But I will never borrow. You want to talk to God. I want material breakthrough. That promise of lending to nations. I want it fulfilled in my life. Anything I want to do for God, 
I want to be able to do it easily. Don't want to be scratching my head before I can do whatever my heart desire to do for God. Go wafe man for what hurry can to send him bending or coming for long. So prayer number three. Go kwe beketa. Lord, I want a material breakthrough tonight. Oluwa mo fe aluyo ni pati on ni la leyi. Prayer number four. Go kwe bekeri has to do with fruitfulness. It's not just the fellow who hasn't got a child that is called barren. Barrenness actually means you are working hard, there's nothing to show for it. Because Lord, everything I touch from now, I just want it to prosper and prosper mightily. I want that kind of breakthrough. I'll put it down as number four. And I want spiritual breakthrough. <laughs> well, I don't know. How far you want to go spiritually? It will be a good idea if any time you want, you can raise the dead. And you can just wave your hand, and miracles will just begin to happen. The devils will see you coming and they will run. So put it down. I want spiritual breakthrough. And then other breakthroughs that you want to just add. You have 30 minutes to pray. The altar is open. Just go ahead and storm the throne of heaven and let God know I'm not getting off from my knees without my own breakthrough. Let's go ahead, talk to God. Let's see what you do, my brother. Thank you, Father. Glory be to your holy name, Lord. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. 
ni oruko la Jesu la gbadura receive your breakthrough now ba lu yo re loni have a physical breakthrough right now Behold, right now. Because Become a surprise to the doctor, right now. Receive a material breakthrough right now. For the rest of your life, be dead free. Never beg for anything again. Oh, need Toroman. Lai Lai. Always have more than sufficient. Ni go go eba. Wama ni anito ati anisheku. From today onward, whatever you touch shall prosper. Lato ni lo. You will go higher every day. Receive spiritual breakthrough now. Anytime you pray, let there be fire. Become a terror to the devil. Become a spiritual giant. Become a mighty vessel in the hand of the Almighty God. Before the sun rises, sing a song of victory. So shall it be. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Ni Jesu